Hi, good morning. On this Tuesday, I'm gonna have a little oatmeal. Um, I got to see Ava yesterday. It was very nice. We had a happy hour. Every day there's happy hour, uh, uh, you know, all over the place actually in Queens. Um, <clears throat> I have to go to the dentist today, get a cleaning. That's a really big deal for me. I used to take a day off actually to go to the dentist because we were traumatized as kids. Um, we were considered, you know, inner city kids. I grew up in the city, Manhattan, East Side, uh, Mary Hill area. And um, they used to send a bus. I went to Catholic school, so it didn't matter. It would happen to Catholic school kids, public school kids. It didn't matter because it was somebody's brainchild to bus city kids. I was seven years old. My sister was six. We were babies. And they would bus. And my parents didn't know any better. They were immigrants. It was free dental. They said, no, you got to go. I said, so we went crying to Guggenheim, you know, by the museum there, but the bus, it was, there was a school of dentistry. Yeah, school of dentistry, you know what that means, right? Like 19 year olds learning to be dentists are working on children's teeth. And we, so we all used to look at, be at the other, what floor did you get? What floor? Oh, you got the fifth floor. You're getting a pull in. And everybody got a pull in. I got one. I don't know what tooth they pulled. I hope it was a baby tooth because I don't remember. I don't think I have any teeth missing. And they drilled every single tooth. When I was an adult uh, going to the dentist, they said, wow, you got a mouthful of mercury. Yeah, <laughs> I got a mouthful of mercury. They drilled every tooth. So the dentist, to me, sitting in the chair, everybody goes, oh, yeah, I go sit in the chair, get my nails done. I don't think so. I don't want to be sitting in no big chair. It's not for me. Oh, yeah, you go, you sit in the chair, you get massaged. No, I don't want to get massaged. I go at necessity, get my hair cut. Believe me, I can't wait to get out, out of there. And the dentist, that's it. And... um there's a write-up on it. I mean, we, we were, that, that place was written up, and then, thank God, it was closed down. Uh, I mean, we made a, a YouTube. Uh, I'm Grooving Moms with my cousin, Mercy, and we made a YouTube about it, Guggenheim School of Horror. And we got a lot. It's our most popular um, video because there were so many people that said, I remember that place. I went there. Horrible. Horrible. You wouldn't. You, you listen to your kids when your kids say, "Please don't send me there, don't send them there." You know, because now we know better, and the, I don't blame. You know, you don't blame the, the parents because they didn't know it, and they were scared of the priests and nuns more than we were. I mean, I was scared of the priests and nuns, and my mother was more scared of them, because she really came back. You know, from Europe, and she priests had a big, um, you know, a big pull on, a big hold on you. And they were nuns and priests. That's, you know, it was an Irish Catholic um, parish. A lady of Mount Carmel. Sec, um, First Avenue and um, 29th Street, 30th Street, because it, it, it went through the whole block. And we did whatever they told us. So today, I'm going to the dentist and I'm a wreck. So I'm gonna stay light, because I might get sick. <laughs> And I have my oatmeal. And like I said, I used to take a day off. And everybody at work said, you have to take a day off to go to the dentist. Yeah, I got to take a day off to go to the dentist. They would come, they would come to work after the dentist. And I look at that. I said, this is my hero. I don't know how they do it. Or even worse, they have to work. Oh, I'm going to the dentist. You're going to the dentist after work. I'm sorry. That's how traumatized I am. And not only me. Uh, a lot of city, a lot of city kids. That auditorium in Guggenheim, it was humongous. Children, 
all kinds of uniforms. Some were not uniforms because they were public school children, nuns, all different divisions of nunhood or whatever you want to call it. Con I don't know what it's called. Standing around. And of course, then the teachers, the lay teachers for the public school, packed with children. And the worst thing was, you were started in one place, but when you came downstairs, plus you were, I would always go, can I have a needle? I mean, I was always asking, can I have a needle? No, it's not, it's not gonna hurt. Can I still have a needle? Give me a needle, because they would drill. Cowboy hats, talking to each other. One guy from Texas, one kind, one girl, one girl from I don't know where. Young, young, and some of them not so young that they failed at whatever they wanted to do. Now they wanted to be a dentist. Anyway, hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, better than me. And uh, stay hydrated and get something good to eat. Peace.